Black Panther movie mini mates. Let's take a look at them. Diamond Select has released their newest set of Marvel Mini Mates, and it is based off the Marvel Studios Black Panther movie due out this month. This newest set does not disappoint. The figures look outstanding, and there are 12 figures in total, making this the most inclusive and robust Black Panther movie toy line out there to date. The figures come in five two packs and a four pack. The two packs contain Black Panther and M'Baku, Killmonger and Ulysses Claw, Dora Milaje Nakia, and Dora Milaje Okoye. Tactical Killmonger, Casino Chichala, and Everett Ross, and Powered Up Black Panther. The four pack has Black Panther, Powered Up Killmonger, M'Baku, and Shuri. You'll notice that both two packs and the four pack include Black Panther and M'Baku. These are the same figures in both packs, and they come with the same accessories. If you want to save some money or don't care about collecting all the figures, you can forgo one of the packs, but I just had to get both. It's hard to believe they can make many improvements to a block minifigure with 14 points of articulation, especially one as great as the Civil War Black Panther Minimate, but they did with this newest movie Minimate. It has a new slipcover mask design, shinier vibranium detailing, and now they've given this new version claws, which was an accessory that was sorely missed from the Civil War version. Where this figure falls flat is the alignment of the print on his mask. It's asymmetrical and too close to his right ear. He is also made from a high gloss sheen plastic that hampers the night prowler look and it doesn't grip the claws or feet tightly enough. If you pick this figure up, make sure you do so by its base or you'll lose some parts. However, this figure is still a step in the right direction. The Civil War Black Panther Mini Mate was asymmetrical too. We just have to hope after these two misfires they recalibrate their printer and get their act together for the Civil War version. These seem like some unfortunate and avoidable quality issues for what could have been a great mini mate figure, but they're not total deal breakers. The best part of this figure is what's underneath the mask. Like its predecessor, the slipcover mask can be removed to reveal the king himself, and the likeness is dead on for Chadwick Boseman. Unlike its predecessor, there is no printed on hair, and this has a hole in the top of its head. This can be used for the included sculpted hair piece. It's a nice upgrade. M'Baku is a welcome mini mate. He bolsters the ranks of the MCU villains and isn't making many appearances in other action figure lines. He may not have the traditional look that he has in the comics, but he still looks like someone not to be trifled with. His sculpted hair piece has some nice painted highlights that add some depth to his overall look. The face illustration is a good likeness for the actor. For this entire series, the amount of illustrated facial detail is outstanding and does an amazing job of fleshing out the features of the actors. There are no other minifigures like it. And Baku's sculpted shoulder pads and skirt are well done and the paintwork on those are better than typical mini mate quality. He has illustrated detailed design on his forearms and shins, but where this little figure takes a dip is the plastic used for his arms and legs. It's the same shiny plastic that doesn't grip. The dip in quality must have been the price for all the sculpted detail. The hands don't fall out as easily as the Black Panther, but that's because the feet and hands are made from a grippier plastic. His accessory is a brown staff, or as I like to call it, his beat stick, because of the giant ball at the end of it. I don't know how he'll use this thing in the movie, but I'm looking forward to seeing it. Black Panther's rival, Killmonger, is powered up and the exact same mini mate as Black Panther with different illustrated detail. Powered up Killmonger comes with claws and is made from the same shiny plastic as Black Panther. Though the movie costume doesn't represent the comic character very well and makes him another mirrored Marvel villain, there are a lot of fun aspects to this design. I am a fan of the leopard print with the gold highlights over top. I'm interested to see how this version of the costume will fit into the story. Does the powered up effect happen when they shed their civilian clothes or will it be a Dragon Ball Z type of power as where they get stronger, they get brighter and then punch each other? I'm assuming the latter, but it looks great either way. Maybe Killmonger's final form is the Human Torch. Then Michael B. Jordan and Chris Evans can decide who is the greatest torch. The biggest shame of this figure, like the Black Panther figure, is the illustration on the mask is not center. This is an even bigger shame because Killmonger has illustrated detail on the back of his mask as well. This was a missed opportunity to make one great pullover headpiece. This mask is a slipcover and can be removed to reveal an angry Killmonger, but with a name like Killmonger, would you expect any different? His accessories may or may not be an error. Only the movie will give us a definitive answer, but he has the same hair pieces as T'Challa along with printed on hair. 
As we'll see with the other figures in this series, Killmonger has a different hairstyle and the illustrated hairpiece helps complete this look. The hairpiece that's included with him still works, so who knows if this was a mistake to include this particular piece. We'll have a better answer when the movie's released. The last figure in this four pack is Shuri, King T'Challa's sister, and she is without a doubt my favorite figure in this pack. Her design is amazing. She has a sculpted hairpiece with nice printed detail. Her head illustration on the front and on the back is clean and on point. The merging of the 2 and 3D detail on her body is nicely executed, but the best part about this figure is what she comes with. Two panther gauntlets. These weapons are both great one-off sculpts and can be used with any mini-mate. The paint apps on the gauntlets are surprisingly well done. Overall, these are fantastic accessories to add to an amazing figure. She even has an illustrated tattoo on the back of one of her hands. This is the great attention to detail we can expect from Minimates. Ordinary Suit Killmonger, or just Killmonger, has all of the parts from his powered up version, but the big differences from this figure to the power up version is his illustrated detail. This Killmonger doesn't have the stylized gold accents, and the leopard print on the slipcover mask differs from the powered up version. What is the same is the off-centered print on his mask. What's going on here? Someone must have fallen asleep at the wheel because to have this mishap happen on all of the mask is no good. What is good is the mask can be removed to reveal a MBJ head with a slightly less angry facial expression. This two-pack also comes with a hairpiece that represents the style we see him with in the trailer. This figure suffers from the same problem I mentioned about the figures before, lack of plastic grip. The clawed hands and feet have a hard time staying in their joints. Along with Killmonger, we get Ulysses Claw, and this figure is one of the best in the wave. He is a definite upgrade from his Age of Ultron mini-mate. His facial expression is clean and captures the likeness of the actor. Claw also has a tattooed sleeve on his right arm that is clean and great attention to detail. It's a crab claw, which is a little on the nose, but I'll forgive it because its left arm is a one-off sculpt of a Wakandan mining cannon that is coming out of his hand. Now, think what you may about this effect in the movie, but seeing this on a claw mini-mate is fantastic. His alternate arm without the cannon also has the color differentiation to the skin from the rest of his body, and there are illustrated lines where the cannon is meant to come out. Just more beautiful detail. The Minimate Multiverse now has an Everett Ross, and this is great for two reasons. First, we can practically reenact Captain America Civil War using Minimates. And second, we can now imagine an Andy Serkis Minimate spitting Hobbit dialogue at Martin Freeman. Yes, and, and if I win, you should be the way out. Yes. 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 It's the simple things, really. This Everett Ross mini-mate comes with a retooled hairpiece that I haven't seen used before, and the face illustration is... decent. The rest of him are the standard suit parts you would expect from any suit-wearing mini-mate. Everett is packed with the powered-up Black Panther. I have the same gripes about this figure as I did with all the aforementioned Black Panther slash Monger figures. The print on the mask is off-center, and the hands and feet don't stay in the pegs very well. With all complaints aside, this is a beautiful figure. The designers did a great job of giving the figure illustrated depth with the use of silver and blue highlights, making him stand out from his non-powered up version. The only thing that he is missing is the purple. In the trailer, the powered up version has a lot more purple and this figure has none. The mask is removable to reveal T'Challa with a different facial expression. This figure is also included with a hairpiece to display him without the mask. This is the Killmonger look that I'm used to, and Diamond Select went all out with this mask. The sculpt work is on point, the paint detail is center, and the two-tone paintwork is a nice touch. Tactical Killmonger's slipcover mask is a superb accessory. The mask can be removed to reveal Eric Killmonger's face. It's nice having multiple versions of one character with different facial expressions to have a variety of display options. He doesn't come with any more sculpted pieces on his body, but he does come with a hair piece and two nicely sculpted weapons. This is an overall great figure and arguably the best in the series. Casino T'Challa is the second figure in this pack, and he is fun to have. He is a basic suited figure for the most part. Standard Black Panther hair, stoke facial expression, and no added sculpted features. The thing that sets this figure in the must-have category is the cat print on his jacket and sleeve. This is a design we have never seen before, and the fact that the figure parts are interchangeable makes for some fun combinations. 
The Everett Ross and Powered Up Black Panther 2-pack and the Tactical Killmonger and Casino T'Challa 2-pack are Walgreens exclusive, so if you want them, you'll need to hunt around or pay a little bit extra online. The last 2-pack in the series is the Dormelage 2-pack, and it is only available at Toys R Us. You can pick this pack up in the front of the store or at Toys R Us online. The Dormelage are the Wakandan Elite Guard, and these mini-mates that represent them are fantastic. Both figures have sculpted skirt pieces and bracelets that work nicely with a 2D illustration on their bodies. The Kia comes with a sculpted hairpiece and two ring blades. Her overall look seems to be the uniform for the Dora Milaje. The trailer shows multiple Dora Milaje wearing this uniform, so this figure might be an army builder you're swapping the head on. The standout feature on Dora Milaje Koye is the tribal tattoo on her head. It's a detail that could be overlooked on a minifigure, but this is a defining feature for this character. Another fun detail on these Dora Milaje figures is that both their neck pegs are painted gold to represent the neck rings that Dora Milaje wear. It's a detail that can be overlooked because of how small the peg is, but it adds some robustness to the character. Okoye has a more beige uniform. This might be the captain's colors for the Dora Milaje. Her accessory is her spear. Now they use the same skirt piece for both figures, just with different colors. And when they did this, I thought it was a bit odd that Okoye had a crest on her waist. This bothered me because the Marvel Legends Build-A-Figure did not have a crest. This prompted me to do some digging, and the costume design I found for Okoye did, in fact, have the crest. Minimates got it right. Nicely done. All minor gripes aside, this series is fantastic. There are so many figures in this movie series, the display and play options are endless. The play options would be better if the body parts would stay in their pegs. Diamond Select needs to get their act together in that department. But aside from that, these figures are a lot of fun. I'm happy we get some of the characters for the Infinity War movie that I'm not too sure would come in the Infinity War set. And overall, these figures have me excited with anticipation for the Black Panther movie. It's wonderful that we got them almost two months before the movie comes out. Collecting all of the figures in this series presents a bit of a challenge. As I said before, the Dora Milaje 2-pack is only available through Toys R Us. The Everett Ross and Powered Up Black Panther 2-pack and the Tactical Killmonger with Casino T'Challa 2-pack is only available at Walgreens. The other 2-packs are available at both stores and the 4-pack is only available at specialty shops. To get all the figures in this series, you will need to work for it. But if you like toy hunting as I do, it gives you a reason to go out and find them. Paying a little more on Amazon and other online retailers is always an option as well. That's my review. If I left anything out, please let me know or ask questions in the comments. More mini mates are coming out all the time, and I will do my best to get these reviews out to you. Thank you for watching this one, and always remember to be good to yourself. 